So here's what I want to do. Let me just pick someone who just has never had an experience of racism. So you're a black man. You're that guy right there. And you've been out at a concert in downtown Portland. And you come back to the hotel. And you get a call from your mother. And as you come back from the hotel, you're, you're on your phone. And you are looking around. You're in the lobby of the hotel. And then you find a place in the corner of the lobby that's kind of quiet. And so just pretend like you're talking to your mother, okay? And I'm the security guard. And I come over and say, hey, I'm, are, are you a guest at this hotel? And you just hold it up and wave it to me. I'm like, no. And you think... She's a hotel, right? She's got the little card here. It says Double Tree Portland on it. She's a guest here, right? It's her keys in there. Got it? It's pretty clear? Of course. But that's not enough for me. Um, what's your room number? 501. No, but let's say you don't, but you don't want to answer now because you're talking to your mother. And you've already shown me the card. Now you can say, I'm in room 501. Or you could say, what else could you say? Yeah, leave, leave me alone. Leave me alone. So you refuse to answer. And I go get to the front desk and I say, and so we now call call the police. Now I show up with the police. I'm the security guard and I show up. I'm back with the police. I say, excuse me, you come with us. Um, you, you're, we're we're going to cite you for trespass. You're going to have to, are you a guest of the hotel? You yeah. show me the car? Yeah, okay, well, that's fine, but you're going to have to check out. And come home, come with us. And if you don't check out, we're going to arrest you for trespassing. And you start saying, excuse me, I'm, my things are in my room. I'm like, I'd be pissed. You'd be pissed, right? Pissed off, and yeah. there's nothing you could do. Because once the police get involved, the police, it happens right there. It rare, it's rare that police are going to step down. That's the nature of it, right? Because once the police enter, you, you get that, right? You understand? Like once you get that place. So now you go and you pack your stuff out of your room. You lose your money. We don't refund your money. You pack... You, you pack your things and you go find another hotel. How likely is that to happen to you? Probably like zero chance that would happen to me. And if it happened to you, you'd just be like, what? I'd be so confused. I like wouldn't understand what was going on. And so when you think about all the white people you know, your friends, everybody, or how likely is it that, that they, that they think would happen to them? Any one of my friends would be, like, any one of my white friends would be so, like, I, like, what's your reasoning? Why are you doing this? Like, what's the point of anything? If it would ever happen. Yeah, they would never expect it to happen to them. Yeah, exactly. I, now I need, I, need, I need someone who's black. All right, get on your phone. Pretend you're talking to your mom. Um, excuse me, are you a guest at the hotel? Yes, I am. Show me the, just show me the card. Hold it up. What's your room number? I'm not telling you. Why aren't you telling now? What, what's like, what's that moment at which you just go, like, let, let me, before we go into this, white people, here's something you really need to understand. I'm not a bleeding heart white dude, okay? I'm not a bleeding, I don't feel guilty about anything. Trust me, I don't run into many black people with chips on their shoulders. I mean, maybe a little bit more like college students, because, you know, you're young, and you, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, everybody's young. You're all annoyed at something, like... So that moment that you just say, I'm not telling you, because I already showed you my card. What is, what's going on in your head? That you're racially profiling me? That you're an asshole? That I'm not telling you? Because? I don't have to. Because? I showed you my room key. You gave me enough. And that should be enough. And do you think it would have been enough if it was her? Yes. Does you think it's ever happened to white people that they get kicked out of a hotel because they refuse to give their room number? No. And I'm going to disagree with you. I'm sure it's happened somewhere. Someone who looks like Corinne got booted out of a hotel somewhere because she did not give her room number when they were asking, okay? Yeah, it doesn't take a lot for this story. If you've been around the block, it doesn't take a lot to be like, oh, yeah, I get that. And it doesn't take a lot to get annoyed. You know, you know what I mean? But it's disbelief. If you're white, like, man, if I'm you, and like me and you, I'm just like, nah, come on, man. That didn't happen. And you're, okay, you're telling the story, right? Here, stand up here now. So you're telling the story, right, in your discussion group. Yeah, I got kicked out of the hotel and da-da-da. And you know what, you know what white people, what we're going to say is like, nah, dude, come on, Mike. That, there's no way that happened. Come on, man, you must have done something. Because it's never happened to Corinne. It's never happened to me. It's never happened to any white person I know. I hear these stories from black people, from brown people, but 
Never got it from anybody else. I didn't do nothing. Exactly. And so the hotel chain investigated, and they were, then the employees got fired. This is the kind of stuff, this is the disbelief. So there's a reason. So there's a reason for the disbelief. There are lots of reasons, and one is certainly experience that we, we don't have this. Like if it doesn't happen to you. Men, there are all sorts of things that happen to the women in your life. There are all sorts of things that happen that you just don't necessarily hear about and don't necessarily understand. So, by the way, black and brown people, it's like there are all sorts of things that you don't believe either. Or like disabled people. You're going to do the same thing. Like I could, I could bring a group of disabled Penn State students in here and start telling stories about what it's like to be disabled. And just as many black and brown people in this room would disbelieve them as white people. We're all in this together. But right now, we just happen to be talking about race. 